Hello, John Gallette here from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. We are going to discuss the basic technique for using ultrasound to evaluate for pleural effusions. Ultrasound is especially good at locating fluid. It has been reported that ultrasound can detect as little as 20 cc's of pleural fluid compared to 150 cc's required by anterior posterior chest x-ray. Furthermore, a supine chest x-ray can miss large effusions layering posteriorly. To detect a pleural fusion, you should use a low-frequency curvilinear or phased array transducer in order to achieve adequate depth of penetration. Orient the transducer with the marker towards the patient's head in the coronal plane and roughly where the mid-axillary line and the inframammary crease intersect. The image you will see is a coronal plane image through the base of the hemithorax. Identify the curved hyperechoic line of the diaphragm as your landmark. On the abdominal side of the diaphragm, you'll see the spleen or liver with their characteristic appearance. And on the thoracic side of the diaphragm, if normal, you will see a gray, foggy appearance of normal lung. If an effusion is present, you will see anechoic fluid surrounding the base of the partially or collapsed lung and outlining the bright white diaphragm. Here we see the curved hyperechoic diaphragm with a large thoracic effusion and collapsed lung visible on the left side of the image. Here we see a moderate to large effusion with partially collapsed lung. In this example, we see a hemithorax entirely filled with fluid and a completely collapsed lung floating inside. The diaphragm is not evident in this example. Let's discuss the important points to remember when using ultrasound to evaluate pleural fusions. First, as a general principle, fluid is well visualized by ultrasound, which is sensitive and specific for detecting pleural fluid. Note that the diaphragm is often higher towards the head than many anticipate at first. Identify the diaphragm as your main landmark. If you don't see it, try looking slightly more cranial to find that diaphragm. Finally, be cautious when trying to quantify the volume of fluid. The thoracic space is large and irregular, which makes accurate statements about volume very difficult to make. Also, remember that the thorax is voluminous and has a large surface area. Therefore, a small effusion or a small amount of fluid may be difficult to locate without a thorough exam. This concludes the tutorial on using ultrasound to detect pleural fusions. Thank you for listening.